So in this practice quiz, the objective is to implement an object oriented program to represent temperature. So a temperature object is characterized by its value, unit, and date. So it's clear from this that these three, uh, uh, these three uh, things represent the attributes. Okay. I found yesterday that some people do uh, temperature F for Fahrenheit, temperature C for Celsius. Now my question, where do you find this information? Okay. If you do something that is not requested, it means that you want to have lower grade. This is what, I, what you want to have. Okay, but otherwise here it's clear. Now, okay, these are the attributes. Now the first question, I didn't say here uh, one should be double, the other one should be string or char or whatever. Now you have to understand, okay, a temperature value usually we represent as a double. You will see now in Fahrenheit you multiply by 1.8 and so on. So it's a double value. And here for the unit, I said that it is either a letter C or a letter F. So it's character. Most of you, you made string. Okay, so we must understand from the question, what are the types and what is requested? Okay, uh, some of the students, I think they didn't read the whole question. They try like, to make faster. You know, in this case, you lose grades. Read the question line by line, word by word, understand everything. Okay, لأنه القراءة السؤال هو نصف الإجابة. Okay, and other unit values are not accepted. So from here we can understand that we have data validation. Other unit values are not accepted. So we need only to accept C and F. And then we have temperature class should provide two additional methods. One that is called convert to Celsius. And look here, I did not put any parameter. Most of you put parameters here. Why you put parameters? I don't understand. It's not request to put parameters. We're going to use the value unit attributes in order to make the conversion. Okay? So it is going to convert and update the value and unit attributes, attributes to Celsius if it is in Fahrenheit. Otherwise, it will print the message, same unit, no conversion. And same thing will be done for convert to Fahrenheit. It's in the opposite way. And here we give you the formula for the conversion. No. The only thing that we use numbers that count, we are not able to return the value. We will see. We will see how to make it. We will see how to make it. But now we have to understand first the requirement. And then we go for the implementation. Both methods should return temperature object. We will see how to make it. And finally, the string format, it means the two string method of temperature should be in the form value and unit. Okay, this is the way. Now implement the class temperature with all method and attribute using encapsulation. What does it mean encapsulation here? It means data hiding. Okay, we have to use private. Okay, so let's go ahead. Here, we're going to create a class temperature. And as I mentioned to you, you should create a new package inside the source package. Okay, so now I assume that you know the steps. And the real exams and the real quiz you will have to use, okay, the current GIT Hub. So if you don't know how to do it, you must uh, learn. I already, uh, I, I, I remind you that I have a video on the website that shows you how to work with GIT Hub in this classroom. Yes. Uh, the quiz, for instance, we have paper or? No, no, like this, the quiz. It's going to be exactly like you've done. But now later on, you're going to copy uh, your answers inside this place that's all and then you, you will submit we will do a practice quiz where you have to submit your solutions exactly like so because this is the first one we go step by step uh, <coughs> no no it's not accepted yes absolutely because here this is what no, the question says convert and update the value and unit attributes. Attributes. I don't ask to put parameters. I don't ask. And you don't need. What are you going to do with the parameters? We want to change the values of the attributes, not any other parameter that you will put later on 
in the main function. No. We will see how we see how to make the solution. So you must be very specific and respond to the questions. Do not respond to something else. Okay. As I mentioned, reading and understanding the questions is half of the answer. Okay. If you if you make something different, whatever it works or not, it doesn't respond to the question. Okay. So now I'm going to create three attributes. Private. Let me let me present the solution and then we discuss what you have done. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here we're going to make double private double value. So and you have to call it value, not tamp or something different. Okay. And here private char unit and private date. Very simple. If you take things simple, you're going to find it simple. If you want to complicate things, it's possible, but you lose points. Okay, and then what you have to do, we have to do a constructor. Okay, constructor here initializes three values. Okay, double value, uh, char unit, and date, date. So, I saw some students did something like this. OK. Here I say no. We have to use the set method because of possibly having data validation. So just to simplify your life, whenever you have a constructor, just use set value. Even now, it's not created. We're going to create it. But just do it. OK. I can do it at this time. All this it shows a compilation error. But later on, I'm going to fix it because I will add these methods, OK? Set unit, unit, and set date, date. You see, it's very simple. If you follow the rules, if you follow the guidelines, what we have done, you will learn. If you try to make something new and uh, which you didn't learn, you know, this is where the problem will come. And now we have to do the set and get methods, OK? Now, public. Uh, double get value, okay, and then return value public uh, void set value, and here we put double value. So we don't have particular data validation here. In this case, we put this dot value equal value. We will do the same. For unit public char get unit return unit and public void set unit and here char unit. Okay, now we have to make data validation. If you go back, it says that the unit must be C or F. Other units values are not accepted. So if unit equal equal C. Okay, if we want now to take capital, uh, okay, lower and upper case into account, we can do or, okay, unit equal equal C. Okay, in this case. Can we use or for unit equals F also? Equals C or equals F? Yeah. So we can do the same. Or F and F. In this case, what we will do? This dot unit will be equal to unit. Else, throw new legal argument exception wrong unit is it clear okay so here we do the data validation for the unit and finally we have the date okay public 
date get date return date and here public void set date and we have date object and we have this dot date is equal to date pretty much simple and now we go to the next methods convert to celsius okay and here it, it says it must return temperature object okay so let's make into two steps i'm going first of all so the correct declaration of this of course if it says return temperature object i have to write temperature here okay class, yeah it's a class we're done the class well no we're going an object of the class okay what is the object we're going to find it but we have to return this okay let's make it void let's go step by step i'm going to make it void and then coming back to temperature so what we have to do here it says okay i'm going to take all of this here so one practice practical thing is that you can put in front of you the text so that you don't need to go back and forth okay to convert and update the value and unit attributes to celsius so now if you do the following uh, double value and char unit you're going to use the value and unit that you will provide later on from the main but the question was saying that you have to modify this value and this unit yes so I don't need to, to have this it's useless and this is why I ask to have a method without any parameter so now we're going to do if unit convert to celsius so if unit equal equal f and or unit equal equal f lowercase in this case Yes. yes what we are going to do this is the dot unit equal to C and the value okay or value okay we'll see the formula here this is what this is the formula to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit now we want from Fahrenheit to Celsius so C will be equal to what? F minus 32. All of this divided by 1.8. 1 1.8. 1 uh, formula X here. Okay, so value is going to be equal to value minus 32 divided by 1.8. That's all. Else, S out, same unit, no conversion. So, this is from new, you get a new Otherwise, it prints the message. P to L. If we didn't say anything, we could do a legal argument exception or whatever. And there is no argument here to say new illegal argument exception. We don't have any argument. So now this method will not return anything. Huh? Will not return anything. This method. Yeah. For now, it doesn't return anything. Now, what was requested, and this is a bit tricky question. Okay, is to return the temperature. Okay. So the question, what he, what to return here? We can return the object. This. So what is the? I mean, no, no, I mean, it refers to the class. Yeah, it's, uh, to the object, yeah. It will return the object itself. Okay. We can do something like temperature new uh, T equal new. We can do the following new temperature 
and then we put a value unit and date here and then we return t okay okay that also could be possible Mother? but it's going to be the same it will be a clone of the current object you can do the following or you can do this here same thing now, if we did return this, we return all the attributes inside the class. Yes, it even will. If we didn't include it uh, in the method. One moment, I will write it. It will return the object with the values of the attribute value unit and it. Okay, it's going to re return a temperature object. Okay, with attributes, value, unit, and date. So, it's like this. Now, what is this one? It's an object with value, unit, and date. Okay, we can do T. Okay, and this one is also this. It's the same because it has the same values, okay? But this one is going to make a new copy. So we're going to have two copies in the memory. And using this, you will have only the, the same object return later on. Okay. We will see later on on the test class how we can do it. Now, for the other class, for the other class, it's convert to... Okay, we will do the opposite. If it is a, C or C, we we'll make F here, and we change here that uh, the value is equal value we'll multiplied, by multiplied by one point eight plus thirty two. That's all. Okay. And finally, we have to make the toString method. The toString method is very simple here. It shows the value and the unit. Okay, so we will do override public string toString. What do you have to write at override? I said this is optional. I said several times it's optional and it shows that we are going to change the definition of the method. Okay, so now I'm going to return string.format and here we, percent s percent uh, percent uh, point to f and percent s for the char or percent, percent C, I think, right? Yeah. And here we will have the first one is value and the second one is unit. So I put a percent F without point to it, okay? It's going to be very long, maybe uh, oh, four or five. Yeah, we can fix it at two only. Okay, now we finished the temperature class. We will go for temperature test. C Char. So here we will put public static void main string args. And let's see what is requested in the question here. Okay, I'm going to copy all of this one and put it here. Write a test program that create an array list of three temperatures. So we're going to create an array list and here 
temperature. So like we do a release of string of int of double, we can do a release of objects temperature. We need to add it. Okay, thumbs. New array list of temperature. So this is the first thing. And then we have to add three temperature objects. So we can do it in different ways. I can create an object temperature. T1 equal new temperature. And then what is the value? 14.5. 14.5. And then when you put C, you have to put in between code. في بعض الأخطاء يسوي C بالطريقة هذه. It's like a variable that is not defined. It's going to make a compilation error. Okay. And then we put a new date here. One one, two thousand eighteen. مثلاً. Okay. So here, what we can do? We do thumbs dot add, and then we add T one. So this is possible. What we can do also, we can do directly here times dot add, and we create a new temperature object inside the add. Okay, so here we have to put eighty point five. We put F here, and we put, for example, another date. Do you have to specify the date? If I put, for example, new date on. Yeah, specify the date because here we 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 we, we define the constructor. We define the constructor with three arguments. Yeah, but I made a constructor for my own without parent. Yeah, but you have to give some initial value of the date in this case. Okay, and then times dot add. Uh, we will add the third temperature. It's thirty two. Thirty two point four. And it's on in Celsius, and here I will put a third date. Change the value of the second temperature to ninety point three Fahrenheit. So the second temperature. What is the second temperature? It stamps dot get at index one. So this is the second temperature, and this I'm going now to change dot. Set set value to ninety point three, and then times dot get one dot set unit because unit was in Celsius and now I it was requested to put it in Fahrenheit here. Change the day. Of the second temperature to five instead of two. How to do it? Times dot get one. Sahula dot. Now we will access the date. And inside the date, now we use composition here. Okay, inside the date we are going to change set day to five. So this is composition. The other end we have. This is temperature. Inside temperature we have day, and inside date, uh, date inside date we have the day. Wallahu Allah. What you would like to do it? It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. It's possible not to make it if it is Fahrenheit. Okay. And then convert the third temperature to Fahrenheit. So, here I draft the initialize each object in the attempts that the are the same. Okay, but this is better. And uh, you write less line of code. And then convert the third temperature to Fahrenheit. How we do it? Thumbs dot 
get to yes dot convert to Fahrenheit save all temperature into a file with the name temp dot txt what I'll end show end convert to Fahrenheit is going to act on the attribute of this temperature object اللي هو مكان تساوي 32 سي so now we can see here for example s out نشوفه قبل الconversion وبعد الconversion اوكي شفت الان قبل وبعد so let's see what happens اوكي 32 سيلسيوس it was converted to Fahrenheit. Okay. And then how to write into a file? It's very simple. I need to create a file. File. Equal a new file. So it's stamp.txt. Then I will do a file writer. Can I make a print writer? It's possible. You can do it in the way that you know. FW equal new file writer file and then we're going to make try catch here as out io exception we can make throws okay like you did in cs 101 Okay, so inside here, the, inside the file writer, I'm going to write, for every value, I'm going to write it. Okay, so we will do a while loop on the array list. Okay, usually what we do, while int i equal to zero, i is smaller than, uh, what is the array list here? Thumbs dot, thumbs dot, Uh, four, yeah. Thumbs dot size i plus plus hey what we do here we will write fw dot write okay thumbs dot get i not more string format but our matlu dot two string okay i'm going to write the two string format yeah that's all now if i execute i go now to uh, here, the project, I will go to the project now, and then I will find temp.txt, uh, nothing, ah, okay, because I did not close, I have to close here the file, file, I prefer to put, uh, okay, file dot Well, uh, fw dot close. Let me make here everything because they are related. And after the for loop, I will do fw dot close. Okay, I can add slash n to put everyone into a line. And then I get it. Okay, let me explain again. It's it's very simple. So here we create a file, okay, using a file writer, and then for every value inside the temperature array list, 
I will print the string format of the temperature. Okay. So, doctor, when we get the, uh, the value from the array list in the index, yeah. we convert it to, to, or use the method to string. Mm -hmm. So, we can convert it. Yes. So, now we made it with array list. Okay, let me make it without array list. For example, I'm going to create. So, let's make it simpler. Okay. I will remove all of this. Okay. Is this clear for everybody? Yes. Okay, so this is clear. We can create temperature 2. What are the values here? Okay, it's in 0.5. This is Fahrenheit. Okay, so you can see here we can create different temperatures. Wada? Okay, and here, uh, anyway. And three. Okay. So here I can print, for example, let's see what what is inside T1. T1. So T1 is giving the two string format, value and unit. We can do the same for T2 here. Okay, we can put T2 and we can put T3. Okay, all of them will show the two string format. It's like doing T3 dot two string, same thing. Okay, we're gonna have the two string format now. It's possible, yes. If I go to temperature and I add the date, okay, for example, here percent D, I can add uh, or percent S here, I will add the date. We can see here, it can execute and show the date. Now, it depends on how you define your two-string format. Depends on how you want to do it. Now, in the question, it was requested to make only the value and, uh, and the unit only. But if it was requested to make the date, you can add the date as I already did here. Okay? So, later on about the array list, we can create an array list now. Yes. So we can create an array list of temperature equal a new array list of temperature. So now I can do temps dot add t1. Okay. Temps dot add t2 and temps dot dot add t3. So you must know that in a release, we can add anything of its type. And the temperature, we add temperature. If you have double, we add, add, add double. If you have student, we have student, and so on. Okay? So why are we adding to an release? Because later on, we can make processing all of them. Mathran, I would like now to print. Look, instead of printing all of these here, I can print using a for loop. Okay? For int i equal zero, i smaller than times dot size, i plus plus. So I would like to print all of them, s out, uh, make, let me make print f. So uh, times of person d i equal percent s, okay, and here, we will put i, and here we will put times dot get i. No. This is string. Per percent s, then no string. String. It's not char. C for char. This is a string. C, mana char, or s, string. Father? Two different things, and here we run the file, and then we can get it. So uh, I, I can add slash n here to go to the next line, and you can see we use a for loop, and you can print all of them using a for loop. Now I'm going to show you another way of making a for loop uh, without uh, having an index i. 
uh, it's called for each statement. So what we can do, it's called for, and then, so what do we have inside temperature? We have temp temperature object, okay? For every temperature object T inside temps, and then I can print. So I will not do now temps.getI because I don't have an index I, but I'm going just to print the value. Here I don't have access to the index, so I will print T. Okay, look now. I can print all the values here. So this is called for each statement. It can, it can be done for any kind of loop. For example, if I go to the array list that we did before, look now. Uh, for example, here we did uh, we did a for loop uh, using i. Okay, we can do another for loop for every int x inside int array okay I can print s out x equal and here plus x okay you will see now it will print all the x value inside the int array because the int array is empty okay you can see here it is empty. We didn't put any anything inside of it. So you have two different ways of making a, a for loop, either using an index i or using for each statement like this, okay, in the same way. Now, if you need the index, you will have to use for i statement. If you don't need the index, you can use the for each statement. نعم هذه ممتاز Okay, when, uh, so when we print this here, what is going to print? The same for one. This is dot to string. Okay, it's not necessary that we write it. The object is Okay, when you print the object, it's going to print according to the two string format. وقلت كم من مرة أن التو string it is a string representation of the object. نعم. حتى لو ما كتبتوش. حتى لو ما سويناه الآن لما سوينا student test. ما سويناش print student. وسويناه بالتو string and without two string and I said it's the same thing. Okay. It's important to review the lecture notes. Take note about everything. لأنه الآن إذا كان مثل هذه الأشياء you don't grasp it now. وتفهمها كل مرة مش تزيد لك مشاكل 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 أنت الذي أنت وهم أشياء إحنا درسناهم لكن لو أنت ما تذكرهم أو مش متمكن منهم كما ينبغي it's going to be an issue later on. They are very simple. لكن تحتاج أنك تذكرهم. مش مش ندرسوها لأنك تدرسها مرة وتفهمها. تخرج المحاضرة you forget everything. Now if you forget everything it's like you didn't learn about that. So you have to review the lecture notes again and again until you grasp very well the concepts. Now. Now, but we have of course. If it's not in class, and the end of our lesson, نحذف لو فرضنا نحذف the two-string method من the class and if I execute, هذا هذا اللي يبقى عنا. Okay, we don't have a string representation. عنا default two-string method. Okay, and here that in a reference I'll object. Okay, this is why we need to make a two string method so that we have a correct representation of the temperature. Doctor, for 
this case, do I have uh, to put the date in the two string format or not? Because in the question it says value and unit. It's not necessary. Okay. It's, not, it's not requested. Okay. It's just because there was one question. Can we put? I said yes, we can yeah. put, but it's not requested. Okay. So that's all for today.